Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Speedy Two Finger, and I just finished watching the uh, what's it called again? Music Madness Money something. Music Money Madness. Jimi Hendrix in Maui. So this movie is a documentary. It came out just uh, 2021, and it's about a. It's a documentary about a movie that was made in 1970. Uh, a, a concert movie, I guess you could say. It was a counterculture movie. And what happened was, Jimi Hendrix was uh, going to provide the soundtrack for this film. But he also uh, flew out to Maui, where they filmed this uh, concert kind of a small, like only about, it seemed like only about 100 or 200 people in attendance. And and they, uh, that would become part of this counterculture film that would blend all kinds of different elements, people getting high, intellectual, uh, free talk, intellectualism. They had a guy who, uh, was kind of a, uh, freak con man in a sense that used to talk about the aliens and all of his uh far off theories so this this guy was a big part of this thing it was like they had kind of backed the studio up against the wall to give him some money to make this thing and then uh basically hendrix passed away before he could uh even have time to deliver the soundtrack they did an edit of the movie, a four-hour edit that was reduced to like an hour and a half, and then it was shown in uh, these theaters where they served uh, sparkling apple juice and grape juice and healthy snacks. And the one guy said that the minute the film came on, it was like a fire was lit, and he said people were smoking joints, they were smoking hookahs. He, he said the cloud of smoke... <laughs> Which was really funny to me. Because how, how much effort they had went to make this something else. Uh, so what's left... It, it, this this uh, this movie actually was bombed. Uh, bombed at the... Uh, that was not really successful, although the crit, I think the critics... Some critics gave it a good review. Or at least decent review. It, it ended up... The film is like lost to time. Like these two guys took scissors to it and did their own edit to it and threw away the uh, stuff that they cut out. So the this the, the movie that I watched, I did not watch that original movie. Uh, music, Madness, Money, whatever. It's uh, Jimi Hendrix and Maui. This is a different film that it merely talks to people who were involved and they retell the story of the event and the movie so it's this is a this is kind of a a, a bit of a uh, six degrees of kevin bacon kind of thing and it's really well made. All uh, the editing is really well done on it. There's just enough. Well, not really enough for me, of actual the Jimi Hendrix performing. But it's it's spectacular. It's it, the footage is really good. Uh, it's be it's beautiful looking footage. There is some issues with the audio. It's not the best, but hey. Uh, if you like rock and roll movies, you've probably watched, uh, watched a lot worse. Like all the bad punk rock documentaries that I've watched. There's like there's a couple good ones, but for the, for the most part, I don't know. When you're, when you're watching like the Kankakee scene documentary, or it's like some weird town that not too many people have heard of. When you're watching that documentary, this thing... I gotta say, I enjoyed watching it more than any other rock and roll documentary, and I'm not a big Hendrix guy. I, yeah, when I watch him play, I do burst out laughing. Uh, 
watching him perform how he kind of just becomes one with the instrument how he uses his whole whole body to play the guitar um, and I mean he's he's Jimi Hendrix I I don't know what to say yeah some of it's uh, some of it might be a little sloppy when you're listening to some bootlegs later in his career or you kind of get for me I get tired of seeing the same like seeing him do Foxy Lady again but then again it it never gets old for me so I like I gotta be straight with you I don't own Hendrix music here I was never a fan of Hendrix in that like I owned a bunch of his recordings but now in the days of YouTube I will watch me some Hendrix and this I've watched some Hendrix movies and this one's because of the fact that there's a lot of other stuff in the movie that has nothing to do with Hendrix. There's like, they're going off on like the factory and Andy Warhol's involved in this. There's like a lot of real interesting people's stories in here. So that being said, I'm highly recommending you check out. I hope I didn't give too much of it away, but it's a very interesting story. So I hope you had a better day than me. I had to go to my uh, pain clinic thing and then the car broke down. It is freezing cold. It was like 10 degrees here in Chicago today. So it turned out that uh, it was just like dying out. All the warning lights were coming on. And it was the battery failed. So I was able to, like normally I don't have a car. It's my wife's car pretty much. Uh, but I had this appointment. So I got a hold of her. She got a hold of my daughter who came and saved the day. It's kind of embarrassing when, you're, when your kid is rescuing you. <laughs> and you're, you're like over over 50 but uh, hey I figured rather than freak out about it assume the best from the information that I gathered that it was just the battery we didn't have to pay for a tow yeah we didn't have to pay for a tow I, I got a jump from her you got three jumps to get it about two blocks it was so cold. Car was just dying out, and there was an auto zone there where they tested the battery. The guy was like, "Yeah, it's it's probably not the battery." It's like, "Why why do you think it's the battery?" And I'm like, "Cause it's the battery." <laughs> you know, I'm not a goof. Anyway, they installed the battery, and uh, I didn't even tip them. He tried to upsell me on, on some, like, stupid washers. And if he wouldn't have done that, I would have, I would have probably would have given him 10 bucks. Just because it was so cold outside and he had to go out there and deal with this. But that's his job. And I'm not working. So I did kind of feel bad that I didn't give him anything. But uh, it didn't take him that long. He forgot to put the washers on too, which they called me over to leave and then he had to take it all apart and put the washers back on. So then it was over at the uh, pharmacy. They go, yeah, we filled your prescriptions. I've been, of course, they haven't. And we go in there and there's like 15 people in line. And so an hour later, after sitting at the pharmacy at this and it's it's like every time it's it's like this with these idiots over at this pharmacy so yeah i got a lot to gripe about tonight uh i watched the hendrix movie i really enjoyed it i think more than likely i'm going to be uh cleaning this place up at some point soon here and get towards recording i was thinking about using a tremolo using a tremolo but then have like a, a phaser before it all right you guys uh if you do check that movie out uh come back and leave a uh thing a comment and uh let me know what you thought of it uh, that's that's like one of those concerts like i you know I can say I, I wish I could have been, uh, you know, 
seen the wall performed on its first time around because I think that would have been really something to see uh, and to hear. Uh, but this is another one that I would put way, way, way up there on my list was Hendrix and Maui. I mean, I guess, I guess the next day he had an even better show, but just f to be there with the, uh, and take some of that acid with those people because they were, they were loaded. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, take care of yourselves, check your battery and hug your pet. Peace.